I'm not leaving here without you, Dicey. Leave him alone. This dice is under my protection. Ah, what a fine job you've been doing of it too. But I am always up for a gamble. Gentlemen, the death match is about to begin. Place your bets on the victor, but the smart money's on me. If you win, you get the dice, but when you lose, I get you both. That's life in former kids. How's it feel to be playing dice with death, kid? Stop supporting me! Ooh, you're not doing so good. Not a challenge, you're a joke! Could put up more of a fight. This is almost too easy. I'm eleven.
and gentlemen, it appears that this wasn't even a dice after all. What we have here is just a broken old jack-in-the-box. <laughs> He's mine. Give him back. You want this garbage back? Yes, and he's not garbage. Well, go get it. <laughs> Dicey! Oh, and look, that's precisely the plan I made of myself. Dicey! Oh no! No, no, no! <gasps> Dicey! Oh, Dicey! I was so scared! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to get you hurt. I should have never put you in danger. We don't belong here and I just... I just want to go home. Did someone say, smuggle me home? Because you, little lady, are in the presence of Ludo Betts, the greatest person smuggler in all of random. Y you trust me, right? Smuggler, runner, pirate, pathfinder, it's all the same thing, just with a different coat of paint. And I'm the best there is at doing it. You see, I've got my bag. Top of the line, nothing so fine, purely benign. It's bigger on the inside. Me and my brother can fit anyone inside. Oh, uh, well, sorry, I mean I can. My brother, Bruno, I lost him to the high roller, who I'm betting you know. We gambled, we lost, and now he owns him. And you, well, you've got yourself a real dice, which means you have a real chance to free Bruno. Do that, and I'll be real motivated to do you a favour in turn. Oh, I'm sketchy, because you're the one who dropped into this town with no money and no hope and one illegal dice. So take a look in the mirror, kid. Way I see it, you want to go home, you need me. Look, the high roller seems all high and mighty, but he's got a weakness. It's in his name. Roll a higher number than his and he'll lose everything. You just got to fix your dice up. Some things are beyond even my sight. But don't leave yet, Wanderer. I have not told your fortune. Let me see. Ah, you are lost, child. Hello? Greetings, young one. Can I interest you in a delightful new rug? Uh, no thanks. I was wondering if you could direct me to Uma. 
Step inside, child. This rug, this rug is very nice. Ooh, it shows real promise, don't you think? Huh. On the other hand, it is still missing some threads. But I have many rugs here. Which ones are you interested in? Ah, yes, the red one. Every time I look at that rug, I think of a poor woman here who loves her partner so much that he's become her whole world, leaving no room in it for herself. Oh, she searches for him near Four Horsemen's Corner. The blue one, a fine choice. <laughs> there are a pair of best friends in this city, or rather, there were, until that friendship was fractured. One of them lives alone near Dice Maker Square. I wonder if that friendship could ever be restored. The purple rug, yes, a personal favorite. You know, the queen, she'd have us believe we're all different, that we need to hate each other. But within us is a light we all share. He is in trouble in one of the foreman's arenas. The future isn't made yet, young one. Weave it to your liking. I can tell you nothing else. You want to find Uma, yes? Then go and keep your dice friend close. Hmm? Ooh, that strange rug seller seemed to know more than she was letting on. Also, I didn't even know she'd be here, so that's weird and spooky. For now, Even had little choice but to seek out those people she'd mentioned, and hope that when she'd returned, Uma would be there too. <laughs>